Basal cell carcinoma is one of the most common cancers around the world. It affects almost 30% of white population at some point of their life. Basal cell carcinoma is more common in people with blue eyes, blonde or red hair, white skin, aged 40 or more. Major risk factor is sun radiation and ultraviolet light exposure. Basal cell carcinoma commonly occurs on the head and neck and such places which is not protected from sunlight. Arsenic ingestion, radiation exposure, burns and immunosuppression represent further risk factors for developing basal cell carcinoma. Patient become aware of an odd-looking skin lesion. The history may also disclose prolonged exposure to the sun. The lesion can be different form, size and color. Pearly or waxy, white or light pink, flesh colored or brown. Early tumors are so small that they are not clinically apparent. Major subtype of basal cell carcinoma can be identified superficial, nodular, sclerosing, which can be pigmented or non-pigmented. Exact pathogenesis is uncertain. Some experts think that basal cell carcinoma originates when undifferentiated basal cells become carcinomatose instead of differentiating into sweet glands, sebum and hair. Good news! Basal cell cancer grows slowly, and even it can damage tissue around it, it is unlikely to spread to distant areas, and very rarely cause death. Treatment may include curettage and electrodesiccation, chemotherapy, surgical excision, irradiation, or chemosurgery. Depending on the size, location, and depth of the lesion, Curatage and electrodesiccation offer good cosmetic results for small lesions.